Now for this last part, it's all about considering the shape of the histogram, describing the skewness. Because what we've got to do is comment on the shape of the distribution and give a reason for your answer. They're asking, is it positively skewed, negatively skewed, or is it symmetrical? Well, we get our answer basically from the previous parts. Remember that in the previous parts, we worked out the mean. It was 28.83 recurring, and the median we worked out to be 28.125. Now, you should know this result, that if the mean is greater than the median, which is greater than the mode, you've got what we call a positive skew, positive skewness. Now, I know we haven't worked out the mode for this distribution, but clearly the mean is greater than the median. It's to the right. When that happens, then we've got positive skew. So comment on the shape of the distribution for D. Well, it has to be positive skew. Let's just write that in, positive skew. And give a reason, and that reason is essentially that the mean is greater than the median. All right. If the mean is less than the median, is less than the mode, then you've got negative skewness. I won't draw the diagram, but it's just, you know, in case you get questions like that, and that happens to be the case. Now, in part E, it says, state with a reason whether the estimate of the mean or the median is a better representation of the average speed of the traffic on the road. Well, for part E, it has to be the median purely because we've got skewness involved. If the distribution was symmetrical, then the mean would be just as good a statistic. But when you've got skewness, the median is a better statistic because it, it is not affected by any extreme values. So in answer to that question, then I'm going to say it's the median since the data is skewed and is therefore not affected by extreme values. All right.